friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. To my amazing supporters, thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support. I appreciate every single one of y'all. So, um, before we get into it though, today is Friday, November 18th. It's currently 8.46 p.m. y'all, p.m. Anyways, um, y'all know what time it is. We about to eat, it's about to be a mukbang. Um, I finally like came up, I was able to dig up a few topics of stuff that I could talk about. I'm not gonna talk about it in all in one video, but I'm gonna be breaking it up. So, um, as y'all know earlier, y'all know what's on the menu already, so by probably by the title of this video but anyways um i'm eating italian food again so as y'all can see i got my ZD right here i told y'all i don't eat a lot so this is my second meal of the day and um i got a bread stick it's a little bit burnt, but anyways um some orange juice to cheer it up and we're gonna go from here so we're gonna talk about it in this video because every video is not gonna be like straight motivational content y'all but we want to talk about it so, this video is about the time y'all that i witnessed a drive-by shooting this happened like many 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 years ago but i just wanted to talk about it because i thought like it would be interesting it would be interesting to talk about it so i was probably like in middle school or my freshman year of high school minimum i think is it no i was in middle school i had to have been in middle school because the street that i lived on so if y'all don't know i grew up in the hood not like the hood hood like the hood like the trenches trenches but you know it's hood enough to be called the hood okay so that's where i grew up if y'all know me so one day i was my cousins live next door my cousin-in-law so these are just my cousin-in-law so I'm not gonna tell y'all too much how we're related exactly but they live next door so my brother used to go next door to play with my cousin-in-law and stuff like that this night I think I was supposed to go over and pick him up y'all I kid you not I go downstairs and it's pretty I don't, I don't remember how late at night it was but I just remember it being dark outside y'all I was scared for my life. I was scared. I was literally scared for my life because I never seen nothing like that, like ever. Like I heard of gun violence. Maybe when I was in my house, I probably heard of shooting, like heard gunshots or whatever, or maybe fireworks. Thinking it was gunshot. Yo, went downstairs. This white man drives by. We wasn't shooting up at my house, thank God. Thank God. Because it was, maybe I probably would not be here today. Remember, this white man drove past two dudes, one guy. You just see bullets coming from one side of the van and bullets coming from the next side of the van, y'all. Just shooting and driving, y'all. I was so freaking scared i was scared because i was already downstairs at this time we lived on the third floor if i'm not mistaken at this house or whatever so i was already downstairs i was i didn't really go upstairs y'all i was so freaking scared i was scared for my life because i never seen nothing like that and i remember i can't I remember exactly where I was going to my cousin-in-law to get. I think it was to pick up my little brother. I think that's what it was. Because he used to go over there to play or whatever. And, no, I was just scared. I don't know what the shooting was about. I don't know what the beef was about. But I do remember just rushing back upstairs after going next door to my cousin's house. And just being scared. I'm trying to remember if my mom was home or not. But... That was so freaking scary, y'all. Just scary. I could have lost my life. I really could have. But I'm thankful that I didn't lose my life. I'm thankful that I didn't. But that's basically the story time about how I went to drive by shooting. Like, 
I was so scared if I could have done like open heart surgery on myself and made sure that my heart was still beating, I would have. But the main thing I remember is a white van driving by. Y'all know what a paddy wagon is? If y'all don't know what a paddy wagon is, I'm gonna show y'all. Or y'all know those white vans? And they be calling them like rapist vans and stuff like that. Let me go one of those vans. I'm probably gonna include it in this video, but. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. But that's what I really, really really remember. I remember it being dark outside. I remember the car. I mean not the car, but the van driving by. And I remember even I don't usually watch the news because I don't like to. But the following day I was watching the news because I was trying to see like if anything was gonna come out about it. Nothing came out about it. So I don't think nobody got hurt. I don't think so. I don't think nobody got hurt, but y'all be careful out here in these streets. Be careful, y'all. Especially if you live in a violent neighborhood. Be very careful. There's so much out here to live for. There's so much life out here. Let's be careful in these streets. My mom doesn't live in that neighborhood anymore, thankfully. But I'm glad we got out of here. Cause that was no joke. I'm almost done eating y'all. I was really hungry this time. Oh, let me tell y'all about this too. Y'all, I told y'all I made a ziti, right? Yeah. Baby, the leftover ziti was like two containers, bro. So my husband, because I pre-seasoned my steak. to get the rice from the grocery store to go with the steak. Usually when I cook, honestly y'all, I only cook like two to three times a week. I do not like to cook as much as I used to. I just don't. For two people, uh -uh. no ma'am. So I only cook like two to three times a week, honestly. Um, yeah, I just do. So I can't even see, remember y'all, I cooked last night at it was really late. It was like at 11 something last night. I was up cooking. I cooked ziti. Can y'all believe half of that thing is gone? Gone. As y'all see in this video, this is my second time eating. I did sneak a piece in last night. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I did. I just didn't get to record it because it was really late at night. Because you know, you gotta test the food and make sure it's good. Y'all. This man said, Oh, I forgot to get the rice to grow your steak. So I'm like, oh, you got plenty of time to get it. Me, I'm thinking the ziti is gonna last till like Monday at least. Like I'm not gonna have to cook again till Monday. Right now, it's looking like I'm gonna have to cook Sunday. Yep. Excuse me. That's what it's looking like. He tore that ziti up. He really did. But that makes sense because I made this. I made this last week, and he was like, it was so good, we gotta run it back. So I ran it back, and now it's running out. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm done eating. I'm mad I don't got no napkin on my desk. No. Mm. This food was good, though. One thing that I say I'm gonna do in these days, sometime in the future, I would like rent out an Airbnb and invite out some of my supporters and just cook for them. Yeah, that would be fun. 
but I'm done eating, y'all. Food is gone, but cheers, y'all. We got a cheers. We got a cheers. I'm gonna make this a thing on my month, man, y'all. Cheers. Um, what are we cheers into? To staying safe out here in these streets, like, okay? Especially if you live in a violent neighborhood like I used to live in. Not really violent. It wasn't violent. It, that was just a one-off situation because that only happened one time when I was there. But, yeah. Um, cheers to staying safe in these streets, y'all. Cheers to staying alive. Cheers to a bigger 2023. And, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. I don't got nothing else, but this was good. This was good. Y'all, I'm shocked that I got out of my comfort zone to eat on camera. Again, because as y'all can see, I'm always, like, licking my fingers and stuff like that. But the food be good. The food be good. What y'all eating for dinner tonight? Let's talk about it. Talk about it in the comments, y'all. Talk to me. Let me know what y'all eating for dinner. Give me some food suggestions. Like, I want to know what y'all eating. Because maybe, like, if y'all tell me, I might crave it. Sometimes you know you don't know what to eat or what to cook. So, leave it in the comments. But I'm getting out of here. This video is a wrap. Um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great. To be great. To be great. Bye.